Hey folks and welcome back to Ahad's Automotive. Today we're going to take a look at the top 5 cars we can expect in the next 12 months. So let's get started. At number 1, we have the Kia Sonnet. The Kia Sonnet concept was revealed at the 2020 Delhi Auto Expo. It previews the third product from Kia Motors in India. Targeted at the compact SUV crowd, the Sonnet is designed to look the best in the segment. With a modern, dynamic and bold design, the Sonnet is equipped with several first-in-class features. Now, as you can see, it's got the Kia's signature Tiger Nose Grille, the step-fill geometry within the grille mesh and the Tiger Eyeline daytime running lamps. The wide, rare signature lighting also looks brilliant. Now, on the inside, the cabin is fitted with a 10.25-inch infotainment and navigation system with the UVO Connect technology, a Bose Premium audio system, and to top it all off, it will have the connected car features. Now, talking about what powers the Kia Sonnet, it will be a 1.2 litre petrol, a 1 litre turbo petrol and a 1.5 litre diesel, coming in a variety of manual and automatic transmission. The Sonnet is a testament to Kia's focus on giving what the Indian consumer wants. It previews a future compact SUV that will launch in August of 2020. The next one on the list is the Suzuki Jimny, the spiritual successor to the all-time great Gypsy. Now on the exterior side, you can see that the design is derived from the first and second gen Jimny, the second gen being our Gypsy. Now as you can see, the design is completely function over form. It's built for off-roading and in India, we will be getting the five-door version. There are talks of a three-door version coming. but I'm not so sure about that. Coming to the interiors, there's nothing to distract you. All the necessities are there, including a touchscreen. It's built on a rigid ladder frame structure. And for the very first generation, the Jimny has always had a ladder frame that offers a solid foundation for its serious off-road performance. Coming to what powers the Jimny, it will be the 1.5 liter petrol engine from the Maruti Suzuki staple small and lightweight and high on fuel efficiency now this is something we all look forward to a proper true blue off-roader up next is the skoda vision in the Skoda Vision IN concept was showcased at the 2020 Auto Expo. The Vision IN concept uses the brand's MQB AOIN platform, a platform specifically built for India. I expect the brand to unveil a production ready version of the concept by the end of 2020 with a launch schedule soon after, but as things stand right now, I'm not so sure on that. However, the Vision IN will be powered by a 1.5 liter turbo petrol engine producing 150 bhp and is expected to be offered with both a manual and a 7 speed DSG gearbox. It will be placed under the upcoming Skoda Karak and might be priced lower than its cousin the VW Tigun that's also coming out in 2021. The Vision IN is going to take on the established compact SUV Kings, the Kia Seltos and the Hyundai Creta. So expect it to be well priced and completely filled to the brim with technology and features. The next car on the list is the Tata HPX. The HPX is the natural extinction of the H2X concept presented by Tata Motors at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show. Continuing with the same Impact 2.0 language, 
The Tata HP X Shoka shown at the 2020 Delhi Auto Expo reviews a forthcoming production car from Tata Motors. The HP X captures the spirit of adventure and what you see right now is 98% production ready except for those um, off-road tires that is. Now, coming to the interior. The interior design offers modern functional design with a real emphasis on quality, fit and finish with neat touches like the compass and a whole lot of space. Now we know how good Tata is with the space, right? Complemented with a set of unique accessories such as additional lighting, off-road suspension combined with a specific kit for navigation multimedia and equipped roof rack, it's the best you could want from a strong and welcoming car. The HBX is built on the Alpha platform. Alpha stands for agile, light, flexible and advanced. It offers safety and we all know how safe the Altros is which scored a 5 out of 5 in the crash test which is also built on the Alpha platform. Now what will power the HPX is quite unknown at this time because Tata has a couple of engines and transmissions in development but what we know is the HBX will be taking on the Ignis and the KUV100 when it comes out. The last car on the list is the new 2020 Hyundai i20. One look at the new i20 confirms the fact that the design sketches weren't an exaggeration at all. The new Hyundai i20 really does look sporty on the outside. It gets plenty of fresh design elements following the brand's sensuous sportiness ethos. It looks more hunkered down, has a more aggressive face with LED DR aligned headlights and the large blacked out cascading grille with the diamond pattern mesh finish. The angular theme continues with the triangle shaped fog lights and when viewed side on the new i20 retains the previous model shape and stance. It rides on new dual tone alloy wheels and gets a chrome garnish window line which curves up towards the rear appearing to merge into the contrast roof. At the back, the large tail light grabs attention with its angular Z-shaped LED elements in them, which sort of remind me of the Tata Ultros. Now, on the inside, the new i20 is expected to have a completely redesigned dashboard, which features a 10.25-inch touchscreen infotainment system, which will come with the Hyundai Blue Link connected car technology. A digital instrument cluster can also be seen, wireless smartphone charging, automatic climate control with the rare AC vents, push button start stop, 6 airbags and a new steering wheel. Now coming to the functionality, there is wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto along with Hyundai's Blue Link telematic system and all of your favorite music plays through a Bose sound system which is an 8 speaker setup that includes a subwoofer. Now powering the i20 will be the 1.2 litre petrol, the 1 litre turbo petrol and the 1.5 litre diesel engine. Automatic and manual transmissions are set to be on offer from day one and as expected Hyundai is coming back with a bang in the premium hatchback segment. So there you have it guys, the 5 most anticipated cars that will hit the showroom floors in the next 12 months. Now do note that these launch dates are completely speculative at this point due to the ongoing situation and these can be delayed further. Now comment down below which one was your favourite and which one you're waiting for the most. I hope you like this video and if you do, please like, share and subscribe as it helps the channel out a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.